back to my channel. So this is another installment of the True Life series. And if you haven't seen any of my other True Life series, please go ahead, hit up my channel right now, go to the search bar and type in True Life and all of those will come up. But this particular installment is True Life, I am an urgent care PA, which is pretty interesting to me because I used to work at an urgent care before PA school. And I used to see all the PAs kind of doing their thing, you know, just kind of saving lives. Saving lives and just taking care of patients. So it's cool to actually be able to now talk to one and get you all this information on what it's like to be an urgent care PA. So you are going to be introduced to Mary. She's the urgent care PA that is going to be talking about her experience in this particular True Life series. So without further ado, I give you Mary. Hi everyone, my name is Mary. I am an urgent care PA and this is my True Life. My name is Mary. Sometimes I tell people Mary like Merry Christmas, so you'll never forget my name. I am a PA, originally from PA, Pennsylvania, which is kind of ironic and funny. Moved to Denver last year and I am loving it. I love being a PA and in my spare time, I like to figure skate, hike, climb, enjoy the outdoors and travel in my spare time. I always knew I wanted to be in the medical field, didn't know exactly what. When I was around six to seven years old, my dad had an MRI and he was in this big round tube. I was really young, didn't know what was going on. And all I remember was the MRI tech being super cool, calming me down, telling me about the procedure, showing me all the neat images. And since then I was hooked. I love the science behind it all. So in high school, I got most of my hours. I wanted to live by my decision. I volunteered in the hospital, did a lot of shadowing of PAs and other, other medical professionals. So I knew PA was the right step for me. At the same time in college, I was getting my prereqs, you know, suffering through anatomy and biology and all those courses. I was also professionally figure skating during my summers off. I spent my last three summers skating for Woodstock Ice Productions, and now I want to skate for you. Enjoy my team! From college to save up for school, now it was one of the toughest decisions I ever had to make. Part of me wanted to be a PA and pursue my medical field dream. The other part of me wanted to continue figure skating professionally, coaching, choreographing, and going along that route. In the end, I decided to go into PA school. I got accepted really thought about it, decided to pursue that dream. And I'm super happy with my decision because currently I get to be a PA, but also on the side, still figure skate and teach and be involved in that, which is really neat. I have been an urgent care PA for three years, so time definitely flies by when you graduate from school. They always say the first few years are the hardest. You learn so much for sure. My first day on the job was pretty scary. Urgent care, you see a little bit of everything. You don't know what to expect. My first job out of school previously was an in inpatient surgery. It was definitely a big switch for me, but I'm a big believer in doing things that scare you, makes you grow and be a better person overall. practice is pretty neat and unpredictable again you see whatever comes in through the door and you try your best to treat it we have an interesting setup my urgent care is in the same building as a lot of specialists and primary care so I do see a lot of primary care stuff I see a lot of more acute urgent things like cough colds fall sprains lacerations and we do see a fair share of emergent situations chest pain strokes abdominal traumas falling off bikes, head injuries. So definitely a huge scope. Definitely as in any field, as a PA, we are working under a physician supervisor. So do of course what you're comfortable with. But the nice thing about being a PA is that you do have a supervisor, you do have a mentor you can call at any time and colleagues that can reach out to at any time to ask for definite opinions and to for further advice and such. Great question. 
So after I clock in, I log into my computer, I go through my in-basket at first, which consists of labs and results that came back and missed phone calls from patients. So I tried to attack those, my MA and I, we like to do that. Of course, you never know with urgent care. Sometimes I walk in, there's already five people waiting. Sometimes we don't have anyone for a few minutes. So I try to do that in between seeing patients. We see patients of all ages from zero down to the elderly so huge range really fun and keeps you guessing also in between patients i try to call back anyone emergent i sent to the er recently or anyone i'm worried about just want to follow up on them i think it's really nice even though we're urgent care to have a relationship with your patients see how they're feeling you know it really shows them your care and also you know i really think of treating my patients as family members even though I may see them once but to be honest I almost always see my patients back whether they come back for another visit they come back with a friend or a family member you usually do develop a relationship with these patients which is pretty neat I am so so thankful to never be on call that's one awesome thing about being PA is you can choose what specialty you want to work in and one major thing for me is that I don't ever want to be on call, um, so it's definitely a huge perk. I generally work 36 hours a week. My shifts range from 8 to 12 hour shifts, and I do have the flexibility of picking up extra shifts if I want some extra. Voila! This is a funny story. One of my most embarrassing situations in my PA career was actually when I was a student. I was working in surgery. We were doing some kind of laparoscopic surgery and I saw this big moving thing that kept beating. So I asked my surgeon, hey, what is this? And the whole room started laughing. It was so mortifying because she goes, Mary, that's the heart. So I don't know. Surgery rotation was rough. All those long hours, I think I just wasn't thinking. But oh my gosh, that's my most embarrassing story. <laughs> It is so rewarding to do what you love every day and it's so rewarding to know that you're making a difference in people's lives. I love hearing back from my patients and knowing that I was able to help them and make a difference. It's also a job that keeps you humble and on your toes. Some days you're going to feel like you're on top of the world and that you did something super amazing and other days you're going to be like, oh gosh, I have so much to learn. This is like too much for me. Medicine is always changing. It always keeps you on your toes. So I'm very grateful to have a job where I can keep improving and also be humble. So to be honest, my patients truly inspire me a lot. It's crazy to see some of my patients, they have cancer, they lost a loved one, they're homeless, they just have so much going on, but yet they have this biggest smile on their face. It's just so inspiration to know that if they can do it, then anyone else can do it too. So my message to you all, whether you are a PA hopeful, a PA student, or practicing PA, this is an awesome job and such a rewarding career. To the PA hopefuls, keep applying, keep following your dreams. If you get rejected, don't give up, just keep doing it. You will get in, you're smart enough, and you're capable. For the PA students, man, school is rough. It will get better once you start working. The first few years are rough, but it will be much better. They chose you for a reason. Getting into school for, in my opinion, was the hardest part. You were selected out of thousands of people. Just hang in there, you got this. And for practicing PAs, remember what you're doing and that you're so lucky to do it. I think I see people so many times that are really jaded and just going through the motions, but just take a step back and remember why you started, remember the path you went to to do this, and remember that patients are relying on you and that you do truly make a difference whether you realize it or not. Thank you so much, Mary. I really wanna thank you so much for taking the time out to talk about your experience of being an urgent care PA. Like, I'm really excited about the fact that you were talking about urgent care PA, but I'm so much more interested in the fact that you were a professional skater. Like, figure skater, that's so cool. I remember my friend 
when like this is like side note story you guys uh when we were in eighth grade she wanted to be a figure skater so bad that she would like do jumps on her rollerblades so this is really interesting and it's really cool how you're still able to feed that aspect of your life that creative you know sporty aspect in being a figure skater and, and a coach and also being a PA. And that is the beauty of this profession, you guys. You can do both. You can have it all, I guess you can say. You can you can have the home life, you can have the life that you may have wanted before, and you can also be in medicine and still taking care of patients and managing their different disease courses. So, so if you haven't already done so, go ahead right now, you guys, do your research. Definitely look at the different specialties that PAs can work in because it's important for you to know exactly all the different areas so that you can make the best and most informed decision for your life. I will definitely um, just be keeping you guys posted on exactly what I choose or you know where I'm kind of narrowing myself down in the terms of what kind of PA I want to be. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me on this journey through PA school. Please guys go ahead and support Mary um, on her channel as well and just show her some love and if you haven't already done so just just do this one thing for me you guys go ahead and subscribe uh, join the family and follow me on instagram at adana the pa thank you guys so much for watching please leave your comments and your questions in the comment section below i'll be sure to get back to them bye thanks so much adana for having me um, she is awesome. Really watch her channel. Give a thumbs up to this video and all of our videos if you like it. See you guys next time.